Hey YouTube, Farm Regan here. Welcome back to the channel. We are we're back in the shop here with this uh, with this flatbed. Um, it's been oh a few days. I don't know how many days here. The paint's been uh, been curing on this bed. Um, it is cured to the point where I can start to uh, start to do some work on it without too much fear of uh, scratching the paint. It's gonna be it's gonna be a while yet before it's fully cured. Paint takes uh, paint takes a while to uh, to cure, but uh, but it's hard enough now that uh, we can start doing some work. And uh, I thought about it, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to put the deck on this bed here tonight um i thought i was gonna wait but uh, it doesn't matter i'm still gonna have to crawl underneath there anyway to wire wire stuff up so i might as well get the deck on there then i have a uh, platform to uh wire the the lights on the uh on the headache rack there so uh, i'll show you uh what we got here so here's our pile of lumber that we got here um now all we got to do is uh measure and uh set it up on the uh on the bed here we're gonna have to make uh, a couple angle cuts on the first two boards i think um because of this here but then after that everything should just uh should just slide right in there it shouldn't be shouldn't be too hard so i'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up and then i will come back at you once i once i grab everything here Okay, so I got some boards uh, set up here, and I've started to uh, screw them down. If you want to do, uh, if you want to do this right, um, it does take a little bit of time to uh, to do. You got to try to get as straight as boards as you can get, especially if you're going a long run like this. It's kind of hard to get uh, straight boards. You can see that one's uh, a little twisted. Um, that one isn't, uh, it's straight, it's straight this way, it's just twisted, and if you put enough weight on it, it does uh, flatten out, so uh, I'll just stand on it and uh, drill the hole and screw it down, and it should be, should be good. Um, as far as uh, what I use when I'm doing this, I've decked a few uh, traders and beds and stuff, I have, um, I have this little tool I made, it's just a uh, piece of flat bar, I think it's eighth inch, eighth inch flat bar that I bent uh, into this shape, um, so I can just stick it. Do one in an easy, easier one, easier slot there, and I just stick it in there, run the board up to it, and uh, measure and screw it down. I come in an inch, um, an inch off either either side that gives enough meat um, there that it doesn't. Uh, doesn't split out and um, it's spread out enough. It it um, holds it down uh, the way it's supposed to. Um, as far as the uh, as far as the screws that I use, I use these. Uh, let's see if we can get them in the light. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a Torx. Uh, I think it's a thirty a T thirty um, Torx bit for one of these, and they got. I don't know if you can see. Um, kind of a self-tapping uh, deal there. You've got to um, you've got to pre-drill uh, on these because, as you can see, it's just a blunt um, a blunt point there. And so you pre-drill. Um, I think it's a number. Is it a number one? I can't remember. If it's a number one uh, drill bit, but um, you just you know drill a pilot hole. And then uh, you run this in, and it's the perfect, uh, perfect size. And um, I set them flush, if not just slightly, slightly um, below the surface. That way, you don't catch on anything. You can sink them down deeper um, if you want. Um, I just prefer to uh, keep them somewhat flush. It kind of makes it look um, good. As far as it, here, let me see if I can find a box that. Uh, has the uh, specs on it. <clears throat> Here you go. Here's the uh, here's the screws, the size, and uh, all of that. Um, these um, these screws do uh, you know really well. I've decked uh, a couple of different trailers and uh, beds with them. They hold up really well. They're easy to put in. Um, 
and it just, you know, it just works out really well. Um, it is time consuming. Um, if you want to get the gaps, uh, gaps right. Um, I've done where you put all the boards all the way across the trailer, snap a line and then do that. Uh, that's the fastest way. However, um, you don't necessarily get the, uh, nicest results. Um, that way as opposed to doing it each individual one um in my opinion it just it turns out better um that way i had to cut this as this one at an angle and then i had to shave off the the corner of this board i'm gonna have to do that over on uh, that corner now when you're decking one of these beds or a trader or whatever um what i do is i start from the from the one side and work my way close to the metal um, on screwing my boards down. And then I start from the other side and I, when I work my way into the center and you go, why on earth would I do that? Because you're gonna end up having to rip a, a piece uh, down the middle. And it it's not that noticeable, but um, you do notice it if you've got the rip piece, you know, let's say, let's say it's like almost like a two by four. Let's say it's half of one of these that you got to stick in, stick in here. You notice it if it's on the edge, either side, but uh, you don't notice it as much um, if it's running right down the center. It just makes it look, look right to the eye. So uh, that's what I do. Um, I'm sure there's other people that do it different, you know, different ways. It's just kind of personal personal preference as to whatever you want to you want to do there if you've got a really narrow um, gap um, you can split the difference on um, cutting uh, two different two different boards or three different boards and kind of space it out so you don't have like a really narrow really narrow rip um, running up the center you can like uh, cut you know some off of this board some off of the other board widen that gap so it kind of it makes three boards that are close to the same same size. There's there's different ways you can uh, you can do it, but uh, it's not it's not hard to do. It's just time consuming. I think uh, so far um, it's taken me. I've been working on it about an hour or so this evening. Um, I'm getting ready to wrap it up for for this evening. But um, I go um, you know these are 16 inch uh, on center cross members. I go every other one on my uh on my cross members and i have them spaced out right so that i start i start on this one and i go every other one after that to this end and it ends you know right here so it looks right when you're looking at your uh your spacing for your screws so uh so yeah so it's just more of the same i will uh I might try to set up a time lapse and uh, do a little bit of it. Um, it's probably not going to be too terribly interesting to watch because it takes a little bit of time. So, uh, but I will uh, catch up with you later when I get a little bit more, a uh, little bit more on the deck here. Okay, so this is uh, several uh, several days later. Um, I've had uh, several things uh, come up and I haven't been able to work on this bed um more than i swear more than like a half hour hour at a time it seems like i get a couple boards down and then i gotta take off and uh go and do something else so as you can see we are almost done um it's taken uh taking quite a little bit of time to get to this point um but uh we're getting there we're going to try to install these last uh last few boards and uh hopefully try to get this stained here pretty soon So I use my square, I come in an inch off of uh, each side here. And then I just mark roughly where I'm gonna go on my next, my next bit. And that should stay. It's right at the large end of the gap that I like. We're gonna go with it.
faster way to do it, I'm sure. But uh, this is the way it's been working for me. So uh, you can see, there's uh, another set of screws down and uh, I just move down to the next set and just keep on going and just repeat that like uh, several hundred more times. Okay, so you can probably tell by the way I sound, I had a uh, minor uh, sinus infection that uh, got to me this week and uh, I got majorly behind on all of my projects and, uh, and everything, but uh, finally managed to get this deck all uh all screwed down that last board and that gap that last board um i'm not uh, gonna screw down until i uh, rip that last little board uh, it's gonna be a two and three quarter inch uh rip down through there and what i'm gonna do um i had to do some playing i was uh i think uh, three eighths um I think was it three eighths or a half inch off um, on the last uh, three or four boards, and I had to kind of cheat uh, in a couple different spots. Uh, down here, you might notice uh, if you look carefully, the gaps are just slightly wider than the other ones, uh, and that's where I had to fudge fudge those numbers. But uh, it came out uh, came out good as far as the uh, the ripper goes. I don't have to make it uh, tapered or anything like that. Um, so it'd be just two and three quarter rip. Um, and once I rip that, I'm going to put them in and then I'm going to try to match and kind of split the difference for, uh, cause I got a little bit of a, of a gap. I got to kind of play with, um, up here to make it look right. And, uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, saw that piece and, uh, we'll get this, uh, put on and then we can move on to, uh, staining this bed. We're going to have to clean it. Um, it's a muddy mess outside now. This past week, uh, it has warmed up and there's mud everywhere. So, uh, tried to clean my boots up, but you can see there's dirt on the deck here. So I got to click, get the deck clean and, uh, then we're going to go ahead and stain it and get this part of the project done. Okay. So, uh, that, uh, process took a lot longer than, um, I was anticipating to do this bed. Um, it took, oh, what, it's been about a week or so. Um, finally feeling a lot better, so we're back, uh, back working on it. Um, I ended up, uh, getting a, uh, having, having to do a ripper here, I think I mentioned in the last clip. Um, two and three quarter inch rip, uh, right here worked out, uh, just perfect, um, for, uh, for that gap. I try to put the rippers in the center. Um, I feel like uh, it makes it look a little better on the on the truck as opposed to one side or the other as far as uh, as far as the location on it it's just kind of a personal thing um, everybody I'm sure has a different have, has a different way of doing it so uh, so right now I've got all of the uh, the chips and everything blown off uh, swept down and everything so uh, it is all ready for stain um, I might try and uh, see if I can uh, do uh, some minor sanding in a couple spots. I'll see if, uh, if it'll come out. Otherwise, um, we're going to go ahead and get the stain prepped and uh, ready to lay down here. Okay, so the product that I'm going to be using um, is this uh, Apatong oil. I think I'm saying that uh, right. Um, from everything that I have done research on, uh, this is some really nice stuff. Um, they're based out of Oregon, I believe. Um, it is uh, it is very, very tough, uh, durable uh, stain sealer, however you wanna, however you wanna call it. Um, they also sell trader decking, uh, trader supplies. I got it from uh, this, um, this company right here, TraderDecking.com. I found them just by uh, by Googling it. Um, they uh, they have all sorts of stuff. They have the the stain that we're going to be using here on uh, on this uh, deck of this flatbed. Um, I believe um, 
they said, well, they, I, I know that you can use it on softwoods. I think it's designed more for hardwoods, but they say you can use it for, uh, for softwood. It will go through more stain uh, for softwood. Running the calculations um, on their website of how much you need, um, supposedly a gallon will do this bed. We're going to find out. But uh, here's, the, um, here's the brochure. You can uh, pause the video there and uh, read about that. And uh, here's the uh, here's the other side instructions on uh, how to use this stuff. Um, the only the only thing um, that you got to be concerned about with this stuff apparently is uh, it will spontaneously combust um, if the rags are uh, put in a pile or whatever. So you've got to put them in a bucket of water. Um, Otherwise, they will uh, spontaneously combust, supposedly. Um, which, I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. They, they know what they're talking about. But, um, and then they also sell, like I said, they sell decking and uh, hardware installation um, tools and such. Um, give you a little brochure if you, uh, you know, if you want to uh, know how to do it yourself. Um, and there's all the all the different products that they sell there you can uh you can pause the video and read that um supposedly they've got a youtube channel i guess is what it looks like based on the picture there so uh so yeah yeah they're based out of oregon there there's their address right there so uh i just found them from uh from googling uh we're gonna try it out i've heard uh very good things about it from doing the, the research um if you guys uh have used this product before uh comment below and let me know what you uh what you think of it but uh so to do this um i just got a, a paint pan with some uh a roller pan whatever you want to call it with some uh, disposable liners and a brush a disposable brush i don't know if i'm gonna need that or not um roller and um rollers if that makes sense <laughs> so a roller and cartridges whatever you want to call them so uh i'm gonna get everything set up here and uh we'll see uh we'll see how this goes okay so hopefully you can see what i'm doing here make it easy to get into, I'll tell you that much. Poor Leatherman has been all over the place and seen way too much. Can't say enough about these Leatherman multi-tools. I've had different styles. This is a wave, Leatherman wave, I think. Um, you can see I've melted the tips off, working. You can see if I squeeze, oh, now it's working. Sometimes it won't, there you go. Sometimes it won't open all the way, but um, I use these things. You can see it's all worn out. I go through them uh, one every couple of years, something like that, but uh, can't say enough about these things. These things are amazing. Must have on the farm. Actually what I should have done, but it's too late now is I should have shook it. But we're just going to stir it. Let's see if we can do this without getting it all over ourselves. It could be a tall order. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So 
almost like a really thin brown paint. I mean, it is a stain, but uh, it looks more like a paint from the pictures that I've seen. It looks more like a paint when it's applied. Okay, so however many minutes later, I've been sitting here stirring this thing. It looks fairly uniform at this point. Do a little more. I think that's good. We're just going to do that. That seems like a good idea. Now the tricky part. Let's see if I can make a mess. Yep, big mess. Okay. At least we can get it on ourselves. Well, we did a little bit. Seen worse. All right. I think we're going to be doing that multiple times here. Okay, so it's been uh, about a half hour, 45 minutes or so, maybe a little bit longer. And they say that you're supposed to come back now and wipe off the excess. So uh, that is what uh, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to do now. Okay, so it's been a uh, couple of days now and uh, I've let this thing dry. It's, uh, it's completely dry now to the touch. Um, it said to wipe off all of the excess. Um, when I tried to do it at the time that it said to do it, uh, 20, 30 minutes, um, I was wiping off pretty much all the stain. Um, I started, you can kind of see, I started to try to do it here and I go, no, I don't think that that's what they were meaning. So um, <clears throat> I think what I'm gonna do is uh, being that it's kind of, you can see it's kind of splotchy in places like this, um, all down and, and uh, it's more uh, it's more thin up towards the top there where I started. I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do, they say you don't need to, they designed this product as a one coat um, application. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a second coat, I believe. Um, I want to go in there. I thought the roller was going to take care of it. it hindsight's 2020. Whoever's going to be doing this and using this product, um, take the time and, and, and uh, stain all of your boards before you put it down on the bed. That is one thing that, uh, looking back on it, I wish I had done uh, different with this. Um, stained, you know, all sides of the board, and then you've got uh, protection underneath. And you've got it on top. Now, I, I could go back and um, 
attempt, you're not going to do all of it, but attempt to stain from underneath here. However, um, I guess I'm just, I, 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 I'm not interested in trying to stain over my head like that. It's just not something, uh, not something I'm interested in doing. So, uh, but with that being said, um, staining the boards before you put them down would be a much, much better alternative. Then you've got all four sides. Cause see, like right now you can't, you can kind of see in here and you can see that the stain uh, did not go all the way in. Now, if you stand back and look at it from here, it looks okay until you can kind of see, you know, along there. It, it just doesn't look right to me. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do when I do the second coat here in a, in a minute, or in a bit, it won't be, it won't actually be tonight. I'm filming this in the evening of whatever, the, ne the next day or the day after. It's been a day or two since I did this. Um, try tomorrow, um, which will be um, a one second time skip here in a second. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and um, do a second coat. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna go through, it's gonna take a lot longer. I'm gonna go through the paintbrush first, do a section of the crack all the way from one side to the other, and then roll this section. I'm not gonna stain it real heavy. I'm gonna roll it like how I was rolling down here. Roll it out and then uh, keep rolling it to get most of the material, um, the product off of it and just leave the stuff that's gonna, that's gonna stick. I think that's gonna get a better, better coverage than what I got here and uh, make it so it'll last uh, a lot longer. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now.